Hey guys, this is Tech Rainy here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to multi-stream to YouTube, Twitch, Kick, TikTok, whatever platform you want to, you'll be able to do it here today with OBS Studio and absolutely for free with this OBS plugin. Now, I do want to go over some quick things real quick about this plugin that you need to know ahead of time. Two things, first of all, you will need to get a separate plugin for actually a multi-chat, so that way you can merge all those platforms chats together in one place which I got you guys. I've done multiple videos for different plugins for that actual exact feature. So I have one of the videos linked down below. And of course, you can watch all the previous videos I've done as well too, if you want to. And then the second thing with this is probably about this plugin, you will need to manually change the title and description of each of the platforms individually. Unfortunately, this plugin is in a place you can go in once and switch everything all together, which would kind of be nice. I'm hoping in a future update to do that. So I know the devs are watching this. They've seen my previous videos. Yeah, I hope they do that. But for the time being, you will need to manually switch every single platform, which is a bit tedious. But the third thing, some people are saying this plugin is considered a virus or is a virus on your computer. What really is the case though, is that when you open up the executable file for installing the actual plugin, Windows is going to immediately notify you of a potential risk of downloading any viruses or anything that could be malicious. Since how Windows works is that, hey, you download this executable file. If it's not really well known, Windows is going to flag it just in case. A great example is my brother. He downloads a ton of like executable file and ton of code stuff for his actual work. And of course, his system flags it. Makes sense though. It's just trying to keep him safe. So that's the whole point of what Windows is trying to do. There has been no viruses from at least I'm aware of within the last two years of me using it. And if there is one, you'll be the first to know because I will immediately update you in the comments and keep you guys safe because I do not want any guys getting hacked, especially me since if a guy got hacked, it clicked all my cookies on my computer and then have all my login credentials. And there goes by to my YouTube, but two years, we're good. But yeah, you should always be aware of any potential risk when you download anything on the internet. Now that you know all that, let's just get into the jumping into talent so the plugin. So the first thing you need to do is download OBS Studio or update your OBS. So of course, I will have a link to OBS Studio down below and you can download it from there. But if you already have OBS Studio on your computer here, you will need to make sure to check for any existing updates. So for me personally, we're downloading the plugin for the OBS 32. So you can see I already have it on my computer. But if you do not have the current version of OBS on your computer, just do the following, go to help and from help, check for updates and if you get this little notification there are no updates you're all good to go but if you do see an update for obs 32 i would recommend updating to it now with that we're going to close obs studio now the next thing you need to do is download the plugin for obs studio now i will have a link to it down below and once you're on this page here what you want to look for is the obs multi rtmp for obs 32 which is the latest version of obs and when we scroll down, we'll see assets. Now in the assets folder, you will have access to two different things you can download currently. First of all, in the assets, you have the executable file. And what if you do, if you run this on Windows, it's gonna actually automatically install the plugin into the plugin folder for OBS. Now, if you wanna actually install the file directly into your OBS plugin folder, you can download the zip file. You're gonna extract this, grab the actual file from actually the zip file and manually put it into the plugin folder for OBS Studio, which is a hassle in itself. And that's why I personally use the executable file. And I've made sure with the devs to make sure they always have a version of this on release. That way you guys can just click once, install, be done. So what we're gonna do now is download this for ourselves. So I'm gonna download the executable file. We're gonna just download this, put it into our file explorer, and then I'm gonna open up file explorer on my computer, go to downloads, and then you can see the executable file here. And once we double click on this, we'll be able to install it on our computer. And of course, Windows is gonna say, hey, Windows is protecting your PC from any potential risk. And of course, there isn't anything wrong with it. I'm gonna run this anyways, and then put, install this on my OBS. Now, of course, I have the old version of the plugin too on my computer. So I'm gonna say remove, yes, and it's gonna install the new version, but you'll probably just get this immediately if you're first on downloading this. You can just say install. And with that, we can now open the, open the, open, open, open OBS. So what we're gonna do next is open OBS Studio. And once we're in here, you're gonna go to the top left under your docs. And from docs, you're gonna see this new thing called multi output. You're gonna open this on your computer. Now, when you get this, you might not look exactly like mine where you have like YouTube, Twitch, Kick. You're gonna probably just have absolutely nothing. So I'm gonna delete these with you guys just to show you guys what it would probably look like. It'll look like something like this and you can move it around on your OBS wherever you want to. And if it is like not moving around on your OBS, make sure you go to your docs and click docs and make sure it isn't checkmarked. If it's checkmarked, it's gonna not move around. You wanna make sure it's unchecked so that way you can move it around. But let's just say for example here, I wanna multi-stream to actually YouTube. So right now my normal OBS is set to stream to actually Twitch. So I can actually sell now this plugin to go to YouTube. So we're gonna add a target. 
We're going to call it YouTube for the time being. And what we're going to need to do now for YouTube is go grab our URL and stream key. So once you're on the YouTube homepage, what you want to do is go to create, then go to go live, and then your dashboard's going to load up. Now, once the dashboard loads up, what you want to look for is the stream key. So we're going to copy this and then go to OBS, go to the actual stream key area, control V, which will paste it. They want to go back to YouTube and then grab the actual stream URL. My phone alarm just keeps going off today. It's absolutely killing me. And so grab the stream URL, do the same thing. Go back to URL. We're going to control V. And that way we have now our YouTube stream key and URL set up. And we just do this for any platform. Same thing for Twitch. I'll show you how to do that in a sec since the URL is a bit wonky to get. Now let's say for example here, we want to add another platform like Twitch. What we can do is add a new target. We can call it Twitch for the time being. And you can do the same thing with kick and stuff so for actually twitch the url is a bit weird i'm gonna have a link down below to this actual page when you open this page you're gonna actually grab the server url and so for me i'm the closest server for me for streaming to twitch is the actual ashburn url so i'm gonna copy this like so and i'm gonna pass, paste this url in here and then all we have to do is go to twitch and grab our stream key so i got my stream key for twitch and now that we're all good we can add this here and you just do the exact same thing for any platform you want to i'm not going to manually do every single one of them right now because i've done them in previous videos so you can go check my previous video on how to do this too i'll show you the exact same process for like kick and other platforms now for TikTok, you will need to actually have access to a stream key and url existing because they're not supposedly handing them out anymore however if you are working with a company you can get access to one which is a whole thing in itself i'm not even gonna try to explain the process but it'd be the same thing you just say hey i want to add a target i'd call this TikTok, and then you would just paste your TikTok url and stream key in here and now the cool thing about this plugin you can actually customize it however you want so for example here let's say i want to stream to actually twitch to actually 6000 bit rate with my normal obs but I want to use a multi stream plugin to stream to YouTube with the recommended bitrate of 12,000. So you can actually see here, we can do the following. We could actually edit a target. We could call it uh, YouTube, place a YouTube stream key or URL in here. And then what we can do is modify the actual encoder. So instead of reusing the stream, because what's going to do is stream start streaming to Twitch with our normal OBS. And then we're just going to pull that existing VOD to actually the plugin, but that's just going to reuse it. So if we want to customize it and say a separate stream altogether with it, we can just redo this from OBS reuse. We're going to switch it to our NVIDIA H.264 TX encoder. So this is for NVIDIA. If you are using uh, AMD, it's going to be like their AVC H.264 encoder texture. So me personally, I'm just going to use the TX for NVIDIA. And then what's going to do, we can customize this now however we want. So I could say constant bit rate from actually 6,000 to like 12,000. And then I can on top of it too, change like the frames and frame rate, the uh, was a resolution. But me personally, I don't mess with this too much. I do the following. I just 12,000 bit rate and then I turn off this and that's it. That's what I do the stream to YouTube. And you can also customize this for me the best like settings all together for like kick so i'd say like was it 12,000 to 8,000 then twitch would be 6,000 if you are a partner you can increase this uh but i'm not a partner on twitch unfortunately i'm not that cool follow me on twitch maybe we'll get there who knows i'm not that cool though i don't i don't think i'm ever gonna get a partner on twitch at this rate besides the point though you can actually now mess with another thing with this plugin is actually the audio one is the next thing so let's say for example here you want to stream to youtube but you do not want to have your music on your VOD whatsoever, but you're fine with it having on Twitch. So you can actually customize this by going to your coder. So then instead of reuse, you want to switch this to the AAC. And from AAC, you can select your audio track. So my audio track right now is audio track five. I have the following. I have my mic audio, my gameplay, and then any widgets or alert sound effects. But there is no music like Spotify or YouTube music going through track five. So you can customize your mixer. I have a whole separate video on how to do that, link down below, because if I try to explain that here today, that's gonna be an additional like three or four minutes. Um, so yeah, you can customize this however you want. Me personally, I just reuse the VOD since I don't listen to any copyrighted music on any platform. So now let's just say, for example, you wanna start streaming to multiple platforms. All you have to do is the following. You can see here my normal OBS, I'm gonna start streaming to actually Twitch, which is awesome. So you can see now we're live officially on Twitch with our normal OBS settings. And now let's just say, for example, you wanna start streaming to Kick or YouTube, whatever platform you want to with the multi-stream plugin. All you have to do is then click start with actually the platform you chose. So me personally, I'm gonna start streaming to YouTube with this, with the recommended bitrate settings. And same thing for actually kick, I'm gonna start streaming there as well. Now, keep in mind, depending on how many platforms you stream to, it is gonna be a bit more demanding on your computer. So for every platform you stream to, just keep in mind, it's gonna take a little bit more resources on your video encoder and PC in itself. So I just wanna quickly point that out there since I get a lot of people asking about, does this require more uh, performance? And yes, that's if you're using custom settings. If you are reusing the stream, it's just pulling the same VOD from your normal OBS 
to the other platform. So it's not using as much. But if you are using custom settings, it is going to be a bit more demanding. So now we actually check on Kick. We're now officially live there. For some reason, it bugs out sometimes. It just like when it starts up. But you can see we're live there, which is awesome. And we're also officially live on YouTube as well, which is amazing. And that is how you multi-stream with this multi-stream plugin. That is how you multi-stream to any platform you want to for absolute free. If you guys did find this video helpful or even save yourself some money from not using Restream, then make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed to some future tech content. We are trying to get to 20,000 subscribers before the end of 2025. So if you want to do me that favor, hit the subscribe button. That'd be very much appreciated. But I'll see you for another one. Tech Rant.